Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, whole uh, circle uh, along with this uh, quarter circle inscribed in a square as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, blue shaded region is 81 centimeter square. And moreover, all these uh, sides of uh, this uh, square are tangent to this uh, whole circle. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can look at. Since we are dealing with this uh, square that means all uh, these uh, corner angles are going to be 90 degrees each just keep in your mind and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw the diameter of this uh, whole circle that passes through this center let me go ahead and draw this one and here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees and we know that this line is a tangent line and this is our radius so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees so therefore these two lines are going to be parallel to each other and now let's assume that the radius of this whole circle this one is lowercase r then this is also going to be the lowercase r as well so therefore this whole distance is going to be r plus r is going to give us 2r now we know that this side length is equal to this side length if this is 2r then this side length of this square is going to be 2r as well. So thus we can see that the radius of this uh, whole circle is r, whereas the radius of this uh, quarter circle is 2r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square. So therefore the area of this uh, whole circle is going to be simply pi times r square and moreover the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be pi times our radius is 2r so let me go ahead and write down 2r whole square and we are going to divide it by 4 since we are dealing with the quarter circle now let's go ahead and simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 2 square is going to become 4 pi r square divided by 4. We can see this 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore the area of this uh, quarter circle turns out to be pi times r square. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the area of this whole uh, circle is pi r square and the area of this uh, quarter circle is uh, pi r square as well so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, whole circle is equal to the area of this uh, quarter circle and now let's focus on this uh, green shaded region it consists of three fragmented parts let me go ahead and call this uh, region as x this uh, y and this uh, green region as z and let me go ahead and label this uh, blue shaded region as uh, B and this uh, white region area I am going to label as uh, W. Then our this area of this uh, whole circle is going to consist of this uh, blue area plus this uh, white area. So therefore let me go ahead and write down uh, B plus uh, W equals to now let's focus on the area of this uh, quarter circle that's going to consist of uh, this uh, w plus this x 
plus uh, y and this uh, z. Therefore, I can write this uh, w plus uh, x plus y plus uh, z. Now we can see w and w cancels out from both sides and we know our b value is uh, 81 centimeters square. So let me go ahead and replace this one by 81. Therefore, I can write 81 equals to x plus y plus z. And now we can see x plus y plus z, this whole x plus y plus z represents the whole area of this green region. So therefore, the green shaded region area turns out to be 81 centimeter square. So thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 81 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.